Well, this is kind of what I am thinking. You, know, you just kind of pull on this guy, and then we're just fucking, you know, we're chooched in the corner here, so it's just, it's, you know, it's all top notch safety. All bail housing bolts are out. Um, I think that thing might be an issue. But we're just gonna give her a little yank and then uh, see how everything kind of tumbles. Wish me luck. Uh, that's kind of what I got going on for trying to bust the flywheel lo loose. Best I could come up with. We'll see. Halfway there. Got them all broke loose. It actually worked pretty well. So. Well, I don't know if those grooves can tell me anything there. Hmm. And then we got the other side. No failures. Which is the most confusing part about this whole thing is... Huh. <clears throat> I didn't lose anything on uh, the clutches, floater plate, assembly. <laughs> that all looks very decent. Yeah, I'm just scratching my head here. Rear main doesn't look horrid. I mean, it's not the best, but... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. So I just picked this off of the... One of the clutch plates. Looks like a fucking piece of barcode. It's like right there. Like in one of these slots there. Huh. I'll be damned. Uh, 15 mil, 8 volts. Uh, there, 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 there. There, 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 and there. 110 mil holding on that little guy. And, uh, yeah. Rear range should be popped out. You see my little groundy strap there? Brand new. The uh, trans side of it. Oh, that doesn't look good. What is that just, what the hell is that? Okay, it's just grease, that's good there. That sounds good. Trans is okay. Got the new bearing end down there. I just kind of set it all back up. See? Um, Fortunately, somebody thought of me and marked this as the indicator of up to make sure that it matches up with the actual flywheel if there's any paint left. Oh, yep. So over there. So that is my up right there. And then throw this bearing on here, do rear main, I think I'm going to do the front main while I'm doing the balance here, it's still my fucking car. Um, and then I got all my fluids, this thing takes two quarts, I got that, I got diff fluid, uh, trans fluid, and yeah, so kicking ass on this thing again because it's making me sad wrapping up another day of craziness got a little bit of the shop clean kind of put the tools away really gotta go through and reorganize again it's crazy bugs um so ramp's got the oil pan done he took the seals out, had them ready for me before I went in, into work today. So I got the one, and then the other one will be in noon. Um, so yeah, 
oil pan came out nice. Very slick. Completely different. Definitely still some pitting, but I mean... Really came out looking nice. Uh, use a little bit of this rust dissolver stuff. Um, then I use this uh, degreaser to really kind of wash her all down and in inside. Not sure if we've been using the metal prep, but uh, oh boy, she got stuck right to the table. It's a little kit, and you get this, you get that little thing there, and you get a little brush too. I don't know where the brush is, and some gloves, and these two bottles. I can't remember, I'll have to think of the price later, but it was reasonable, so. So we are, all I gotta wait for on the truck is this little gasket here. Um, I have the oil pan gasket. It's kind of hanging right up here for now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we get this turd going again. So that's really like, one of the last things that's holding me up is just waiting on parts. Could not find this pickup tube gasket to save my life. And of course the uh, gasket material I wanted to use to try and make one, we're out of, so and it's great. Yeah, we're just cruising right along. So I and I'm not sure if I fixed the Jetta. Um, it shifts now, kind of. So I just, I Frankenstein, I threw the old valve body back on it and I retested all the valves or the solenoids. Um, I took out all the sketchy ones, all the ones that didn't really hold any ohms. They're all over the place. And uh, swapped them out with some gooder ones. Threw it back together and it's, it's it's moving so tomorrow will be the test on that and it's just kind of down to little shit windshield um still gotta get a spindle for it to see if that's gonna fix that rear tire angle so it does not look good um and then i gotta try and flush cooling out of the truck somehow get the differentials all put back together So we actually got this, this off. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Uh -oh. And then just reassembly mostly, because I got all the parts I need. Except for a little bit of odds and ends that I know I'm gonna run into, I always do. Probably this little sensor here. Yep, my luck. I'm kinda trying to scrub all the excess goop off from it. But yeah, aside from that, it came out pretty nice. I think I'm gonna have to do that on these guys as well. A little, a little bit crazy, but <clears throat> yeah. I gotta wait for her. this seal. I think tomorrow it'll be here. I can throw all this shit back together. So I'm not sure if this is anything for concern, but. Well, unfortunately the GoPro died. Um, I did get the seal, front main seal pressed back in. I'm not too sure on this one. I should probably get another one and the actual tool to install it. But we're going to take a shot and um, show you what I got for the outside. I've had this for some time now. Great stuff, 90 minute gasket maker. So we shall use that. Um, I do have 
the back side of this gasket. However, I just wanted to do the front main seal. Um, probably going to end up having to do the back seal, but for now, um, I'm aiming just to kind of get this guy back on the road here quickly.
fucking right. So we got her uh, kind of kind of back on there. There, yeah. So I got to torque them all down. So that'll be uh, front main. Yeah. All right. So I did that. Yeah. There we go. Fucking brand new front main in there. And then we got that. Possibly, maybe. I don't know if y'all be able to see this or not. Yeah. Oh, snap, what is that? Those of you in the know will already know. Fucking rear main installed. So there's just another, another little bit of bracketry we threw back up in here. And, uh, yeah, should be finished. Well, the engine will be um, done getting tortured. Still got one more pipe I gotta get done. Uh, coolant pipe, but yeah. So hopefully I did the rear main right. I don't have to completely redo it, which more than likely I will have to. Torque down all of these 32 uh, oil pan bolts. It's like 35 foot pound or something. 35 inch pound, I think. I better double check that. Foot pound seems like an awful lot. Um, and then I can let the uh, Widowmaker jack down here because that's been a real treat to work with. And um, then it's on to that neglected thing. Oh, maybe I should do some frame touch up while I'm down here, but it would involve dropping this tank and it's. It's right, Paul. Of course, of course. I, I really want to throw some gaskets in there because from the back. <laughs>